Hi, and welcome to Lender King. We are America's oldest caging company with more than 150 years of experience manufacturing quality caging equipment. We like to think about life on both sides of the cage. Inside the cage, you'll find dry bedding and clean air, while technicians will enjoy fewer spot changes, extended cage changes, and an easy view clear to the back of the cage for health checks. Right now, I'm very excited to introduce you to our patented ventilated cage for rodents, Hygieia. Hygieia was named for the Greek goddess of hygiene because this cage is truly drier and cleaner than any other IVC on the market. To explain why, we have to talk about the cage design and how the airflow works. In a traditional IVC, you place the bedding on the solid bottom of the cage and then introduce the airflow either through the lid or the back wall of the cage. Air is pumped into these little cages at high airflow rates because the airflow really only has access to the top layer of the bedding. This method of drying the bedding is very inefficient. All the moisture in those other cages falls to the bottom of the cage because, well, gravity works. But with Hygieia, the bedding is placed on a perforated false bottom and the air is introduced at the bottom of the cage, below the false floor. So in Hygieia, air travels through the bedding. This design dries the bedding so efficiently that only half as much airflow is required as compared to any other system. Hygieia uses just 30 air changes per hour as compared to 60 to 100 ACH with other systems. Even at this low airflow rate, this cage can go out to 21 days between cage changes with five mice in the cage and still register zero ppm ammonia on the right type of bedding at day 21. But you don't have to take our word for it. We've collaborated with the NIH and Cornell University to validate the incredible performance of this cage. And their independent data backs up these claims. You can even go 21 days in a breeding situation, which means you can go the whole weaning period without disrupting your sensitive breeders. Additionally, because the air enters at the bottom of the cage, this means that this design will never flood, even on auto water. So if you have a leaking Lixit, the water will pass through the false floor and then out of the cage into the rack before it fills up the cage. You will never walk into a room and find a cage full of water with a swimming mouse or worse. It's impossible to flood this cage. Now let's take a look at the false floor. It's a piece of stainless steel with over 7,000 tiny holes. So tiny that they don't catch the nails of your rodents. This piece feels as soft as satin and it just drops right into the cage to sit on a little ledge, which keeps it about three quarters of an inch from the true bottom of the cage. Not only does the false floor hold the bedding, but it acts like a resistor to the airflow in that when the air enters the cage, it balances out in this little plenum at the bottom of the cage. So now you have very even airflow throughout the entire footprint of the cage. Basically, the airflow nozzle of this system is the entire footprint of the cage, resulting in airflow so slow that it is imperceptible to the mouse. This is demonstrated by the CFD or computational flow dynamics analysis of our cage. The CFD analysis of a cage is important for many reasons. So if your caging manufacturer doesn't publish it, you have to wonder why. Let's talk about fluid dynamics for a second. You know how when you pinch the end of your garden hose, the stream comes out faster? Well, the converse is true. When you give a flow a larger opening, it comes out slower just like putting a diffuser on the end of your hair dryer. So now not only are we using half as much airflow, it's coming out much slower due to the design and airflow delivery. The cages are made of high temperature polysulfone. Watering can be in or out of the cage, pouches or auto water systems. The rack design is different as well. The double ended plenum design means that the airflow delivery is consistent top to bottom, left to right across the rack. The plenums open with a quick flip of these latches and you can see straight through the rack for easy cleaning. This also provides an easy way to collect pooled samples of exhaust air dust particles for screening purposes. And if the power goes out and you do not have backup generation, you can simply open the left and right sides of the rack and to keep air moving in this system. 
We also offer battery backups in our blowers for this scenario as well. Speaking of the blower, the Air Sentry 2, or the filter blower system, has some unique features as well. Like I mentioned before, Hygieia runs ideally on 30 ACH, but we have presets that start as low as 15 ACH and go as high as 60 ACH. The system can run either positive or negative pressure depending on your needs. We also offer manual settings so that you can control both supply and exhaust fans individually if you like. No other system offers you this much control over your research. We offer sensor packages which monitor rack level ammonia, CO2, temperature, and humidity. Both supply and exhaust systems are HEPA filtered. Pre-filters and HEPA filters are easy to change without tools. Each blower can handle up to two racks of 144 cages each. We deliberately created the Air Sentry 2 to be a standalone unit so as to not translate vibrations to the rack. But we can create this as a wall-mounted or a rack-mounted unit if you need that feature or floor space. Our Argus software package allows you to connect your blowers to the internet and allows you to monitor and control your racks from your smartphone. You can set different user access levels, like read-only permissions, but your facility managers can have full control. So we've learned Hygieia can go 21 days safely without a cage change. If the labor savings of 21 days is not your cup of tea, remember that it will be the driest of any IVC at 14 days. Dry bedding means low ammonia because wet bedding where urine and feces mix is the source of ammonia and ammonia is irritating to soft tissues like eyes, nose, throat, and lungs. So no ammonia on lower airflow is good for your mice. Low diffused airflow, as in the Hygieia, avoids inducing cold stress in mice as well. The thermal neutral zone of mice is about 15 degrees warmer than we typically keep our rooms. So think about living in an office that's 15 degrees colder than you like, and then move 60 air changes per hour through that space. For comparison, your office probably has 10 ACH moving through it. So when folks say that stress, and particularly cold stress, can be affecting your research outcomes, we're not just being too dramatic. It's a real consideration to think about, and just burr. Another consideration for our friends who are doing their part towards sustainability and environmental considerations, this is the greenest rack available on the market. With lower power demands due to pushing less airflow through the system, in addition to fewer wash cycles, not only will your cages stay clearer for longer, you'll use less water and power dedicated to washing. It all really adds up when considering the total system sizes of most facilities. Check out the white paper on the environmental benefits of Hygieia. Be sure to check out all the posters and white papers on our website, lenderking.com, or contact us directly at sales at lenderking.com to get a copy of the brochure, see the studies, schedule a webinar, or request a demo unit. Thanks for all you do, and take care.